Ready? <clears throat> Welcome to the Brownstown Central Elementary 2021 DARE culmination. It's good to have all of you with us. <clears throat> Congratulations to all the fifth grade students. Uh, this was by far one of the funnest years that uh, I've had teaching in the DARE program. For the parents that are uh, watching at home and observing online, let me just take a moment and explain to you what the DARE program is. DARE is a substance abuse prevention education uh, program that helps teach students to resist drugs and make safe and responsible decisions. And this year, millions of school children around the world will benefit from the DARE program. Uh, this program gives students the skills they need to av avoid involvement in drugs, gangs, and violence. Uh, DARE was founded in 1983 and has proven so successful that it's been implemented in thousands of schools throughout the United States and many other countries. Uh, DARE is a police officer-led series of classroom lessons that teaches children's, children uh, and students from the age of kindergarten up to the 12th grade how to resist peer pressure and live productive, drug-free, safe, and responsible lives. And with that, uh, I would like to thank the school and staff administration from Brownstown uh, school corporation for allowing the Brownstown Police Department to be a part of this great program and allowing us to come into your students lives into your classrooms and teach the DARE program. Uh, I believe 100% in the program coming from a county that does not have the DARE program and seeing the benefits. Um, with that I would also i uh, like to take a moment and explain each class, um, each student, in order to graduate, has to complete a D.A.R.E. essay. Uh, and out of each class, a essay winner was uh, awarded. And then overall, there was one essay that was chosen to be the best written essay and most informed essay. And we're going to present those awards uh, now. The students are already aware, but we're going to go ahead and uh, pass out the ribbons. If, Officer Bowling will help me. I would also like to thank uh, the town of Brownstown for allowing me and Officer Bowling to come uh, and teach the DARE program in a very busy law enforcement schedule. All right. In no particular order, our first uh, essay ribbon goes to, for the winner of their class, Mackenzie Greider. Let's give her a hand. Mackenzie, if you'll just go over there. And while she's presenting that, I would also like to say thank you for dealing with COVID. Uh, the COVID situation has been kind of a heavy burden on us. Uh, if you want to, that's fine. Your teachers and school administration worked diligently to uh, open up and provide special occasions and times uh, with the COVID restrictions and worked very well with the staff and students. Thank you very much for that. All right. Braden Greider, Braden Greider. And I'm probably going to mess this name up. Uh, and if I do, I apologize. Dylan Tope. Topi.
All right, Landon Disk. Landon was not able to be here, but he did a fantastic job. All right, and our overall winner for the DARE essay and chance to win the DARE scholarship is Samantha Goldtree. All right, one more time, let's give the whole group a hand. All right, you can maybe see it. And without any further delay, I would like to just start presenting our graduation certificates. If I could have 5A, Mrs. Cobb, come to the podium. Here she comes. Oh, yeah. Hey, just want to say we thank the officers for coming to visit us this year. I know the fifth graders really enjoyed D.A.R.E. In fact, so much that our bulletin board out in the hallway, they got to pick something that was very favorite to them for the entire fifth grade year, and many of them did pick D.A.R.E. So D.A.R.E. was definitely something that was close to their heart. So without further ado, we've got certificates from 5A. We have Olivia Alt. Go ahead and hold the applause until we get done with everyone, please. Caden Booker. Trey Cox. Maddie Darledge. Lily Davis. Bryce Garland and Samantha Galtry, our Dare essay winner. Jaden Greider and Jake Johnson. Ashton Kellogg and Meredith Lewis. Annabelle Mathena and Haley Moffitt. Bodie Mull and Jaislyn Noblet. Kinsley Osborne and Brinley Peak. Lacey Picardo and Jessica Pitts. Isadore Price and Kinsley Schrader. And Lorelai West. Hey, great job, 5A. Oh, did you get a picture? Oh, let's do a quick pic. Thank you guys. And we are up for 5B, Mrs. Temple.
All right, your D.A.R.E. graduates from 5B, Braden Amos, Haven Brown, Maddie Brown, Logan Chavaria, Bo Davidson, Devin Deckard, Serenity Dillman, Nadia Dominguez, Daisy Dugan, Briston Dunham, Braden Greider, our Dare Essay winner. James Knight, Avery Karinke, Travis Pence, Katie Scarlett, Zayden Thompson, Devin Weddle, Aiden Zabel, and Lexi Zyke. Great job, 5B. Lexi, pop up there. We're gonna take a quick picture. and we're ready for 5C. Okay, the D.A.R.E. graduates for 5C are Abigail Acton, Kaylin Anderson, Corbin Bain, Quentin Bishop, Dominic Cody, Lily Davis, Landon Disk, Peyton Earp, Eli Hutchinson, Eli Jacobs, Kaylee Jernigan, Chloe McFarlane, Cameron Merrifield, Kane Moore, Skyly Murphy, Briar Pumphrey, Mason Ramirez Harrison, Madison Ray.
Haley Sherman. Hudson Stuckwish. Cooper Taggart. Emily Wetzel. And Emily White. Congratulations, 5C. And now 5D, Mrs. Voss. The Dare graduates from 5D are Eli Adkins, Landon Arnold, Grayson Baxter. Chase Bland, Isaac Cockrum, Travis Cockrum, Mackenzie Drake. Kaylin England, Carly Gobin, Isabella Gomez, Brooklyn Gossett. Riley Hess, Preston Hudson, Aiden Engel, Cody Jones. Calvin Luther, Mia Marin, Jalen Mathis, Jeremy McClellan, Tucker McQuarrie, Keeley Pittman. Michaela Ray, K. 
Casey Selfridge. Dylan Topi. Leah Weddle. Jayla Yaden. Congratulations. All right, your D.A.R.E. graduates from 5E, Franklin Barger, Charlie Blair, Haley Branneman, Charlotte Brewer, Roman Cherry, Abigail Christian, Jason Cobb, Hunter Combs, Alyssa DeWeese, Timothy Foster, Zoe Gray, Mackenzie Greider, Keaton Hallett, Aiden Hawkins, Aiden Jones, Lyndon Lanier, Mason McEwen, Colton Merrifield, William Ogle, Miley Sons, and Jaylee Eden. I need my phone back. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, part of being uh, the overall essay winner is being able to read your essay in front of the class. And we're going to ask her to come. She's said that she would love to come. She's going to present her essay. One more time, would you let her know she did a great job as she comes. Samantha? Right here, just read it. Have you ever heard of D.A.R.E.? 
In DARE, I learned a lot of things about drug safety, bullying, and how to report bullying. I hope that after reading my essay, you will know about those things too. First, I will tell you about what I learned about drugs. Did you know that drugs give you bad breath, yellow teeth, wrinkles, skin, and sometimes even lung cancer? Yuck. Smoking and alcohol are really bad because they can make you sick and they can make you do th crazy things that you normally wouldn't do. Drugs make your vision all blurry and weird and you can hardly tell what you're looking at. So now I know three Ds. Don't do drugs. Second, I learned about peer pressure and how stress works. There are ways to avoid stress and peer pressure, like breathing and counting to 10, but sometimes they are good for you. An example of peer pressure being good would be if maybe your sibling pressured you into going outside and collecting trash to help the environment. Stress is another thing that you may or may not like, but it is a part of life. Stress is when you feel worried or scared about something. Examples of stressful situations are getting bad grades, making big decisions, or even dealing with issues at home. Lastly, I learned about bullying and communication. First, let's talk about bullying. Mm -hmm. Bullying is when someone repeatedly does meanings, things to you. Even grown-ups have to deal with bullying. When someone bullies you, it isn't always hitting and fighting. Sometimes bullying is with words. When someone yells at others, calls them mean names, or makes fun of someone else, that is bullying. You can report bullying in two ways, open or anonymously. Anonymous means that no one knows who reported it except for the one to report. You can report anonymously by writing a letter. However you choose to report bullying, you should use the five W's. Who was being bullied and who was doing the bullying? Where did it happen? What was the bully doing to the victim? When did the bullying happen? And why do you think the bully did it? Most bullies have a reason to do something, so asking them what's wrong can help out a lot. When I learned about communication, I found out that sometimes you can communicate without speaking. Now I know what you're thinking. Isn't that just sign language? No, I like to call this quiet communication. Quiet communication is when you call, when you use your body to show how you feel. Its real name is nonverbal communication, but this way is way easier for me to remember. One way to do this is to wrinkle up your face and cross your arms. This shows people that you're angry about something. Another way is by smiling. It shows that you think something is funny or that you are happy. Frowning, showing that you are sad, is another way to show to use quiet communication. One more thing to talk about, the DDMM, or DARE Decision Making Model. The DDMM is a guide on making tough decisions. Did you know that DARE stands for Define, Assess, Respond, and Evaluate? The DDMM helps you to help you to make tough decisions. Like, this person is bullying me, but I might get hurt worse if they find out that I reported. Or, my friends are arguing, what do I do? First, define the problem. That is when you ask yourself what's wrong. Next, assess your options. Then, once you have chosen what to do, think about the consequences and do it. Later, evaluate whether it was a good decision or not. If it was, then good job. You just used the DDMM to make a decision. So what did you learn about DARE? Did you enjoy listening to my story about it? Now you know a lot more about drug safety, bullying, how to report it, and even more. I, Samantha Goltree Pledge, that I will not do drugs, bully people, or do anything mean to people on purpose. If I am to mean to someone, I will say sorry. I also pledge to always report bullying or drug use if I see it. Okay, we're also, uh, we're just about finished. Real fast, I'd like to introduce our, my partner in crime in DARE. Officer Natalie Bowling is gonna come and greet you. This is her first year and I think she did a fantastic job. If she was your instructor this year, would you give her a hand as she comes?
Well, like he said, this was my first year. Um, I was really excited to teach and I was also really nervous because I had never done it before. But you guys made it pretty easy. I grew to like you guys a lot. Um, my mom is a fifth grade teacher. The whole time when I was growing up, they were like, oh, you know, you're going to be a teacher just like your mom. Everybody would say that. And I was like, no, I'm going to go be a cop. I'm not going to do anything like that. And then here I am teaching fifth grade as a cop. Funny how things come back around. I just want to say thank you for making it easy for my first year. You guys have been very respectful. Very good class. Well, all of you as a class, fifth grade. So thank you for your time and thanks for listening to me. Thanks again for the last 10 weeks. You guys were fantastic. Uh, Mrs. Street, it's all yours. Fifth grade, congratulations. I'm really, really proud of you. Give yourselves a big hand. Now there's another group that we need to thank. We need to thank these police officers, our SRO, for the fantastic job that they do, making sure that we stay safe at school every day, but for their extra work for D.A.R.E. and, and teaching you about things that you should know about in life. So give them another round of applause, big round of applause. I believe that concludes our D.A.R.E. graduation for today. Thank you.